local first responders have a new place to work out. Firefighters in Bedford County have spent the last six weeks building a gym. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstad explains how this could help them save more lives, including their own. I mean, you can get down and you can actually, like, drag these. Dragging a heavy bag across the floor to simulate dragging a person to safety is just one of many exercises Bedford County firefighters can now do from the comfort of one of the county fire and rescue stations. We're right next door to the Bedford Fire Department, so we collaborated and came up with a plan. Bedford County Fire and Rescue Deputy Operations Chief Abby Johnston says the gym will give firefighters an important, convenient option to improve both their physical and mental health. Data showed us for years that the top three leading causes of firefighter death um, are cardiac disease, cancer, and firefighter suicide. And so we know that if we can get people um, in shape and feeling good about themselves, it also improves their mental health. And grab them here. People, I think, are getting pretty excited. Some of them have been sharing information about it on Facebook. Bedford firefighters used a grant and their own money to purchase the equipment. Bedford Fire and Rescue Hazmat Division Chief John Moore led the effort to build the gym. I started from scratch, uh, free, uh, reframed, new construction, all the walls that are in here that you actually see. We hung the sheetrock, painted, and then we put the rubberized floor down. He enjoyed every minute of the work. Coming in here and working out and having a camaraderie between the fire department guys and, and the, the medic unit uh, men and women upstairs, it just makes the whole brother, brotherhood, sisterhood, and the whole uh, fellowship a whole lot better. He now hopes other first responder agencies will hear about the gym and build one of their own potentially saving even more lives. In Bedford County, Coulter Anstead, 10 News, working for you.